Hey guys, so many times as artists, we are looking to create the next big hit, aren't we? We're like, we're looking to write the next greatest song. We're looking to have the next be best like record. The next best thing is always kind of what we're chasing after. But I'm gonna propose to you, and if you'll watch till the end, I think what you're gonna realize is that I'm gonna propose to you that it's better to have three average songs than it is to have one hit or an average, like a couple of average records than it is to have one killer one. And let me explain why that's true. Now, because instinctively you're like, that's bull. There's no way that's true, Brock. Like, like money wise, if I have a hit, I'm up here. And if I got a couple of like low level songs, like no one cares about, I'm down here. There's no way that's true. I'm gonna tell you why you're wrong. So, this starts with understanding how the music industry works when we look at the context of like the hit makers, the people who are chart topping versus everyone else. And this, this is something that, that you should just be thinking about. If you wanna grow as an independent artist, you have to be thinking about how the industry actually works because to be successful, if you don't really understand how it's working and how you're moving from it, like if this is the chart, the sort of long tail, and these are the hit makers and this is everyone else, Wherever you are on that, you always wanna be moving this way towards up, right? And it's hard to go up from down here, so you have to be moving this way usually to move up here. Because any data you look at will show you that the hit makers are all on top and then it's a huge drop, huge drop. And that drop then goes down and it's very flat forever. And that's why, you know, I've talked about in a lot of different videos and a lot of talks that I give about the long tail. Some people are like, it's an economic uh, concept. Some people have a problem with it for a lot of different reasons. I don't care and I'm not going to get into it. What I am going to tell you is there's very few people at the top in the music business, um, artist wise, and then there's everyone else. And when it drops off, it's not a gradual like this. It's a steep cliff that drops down and then it's a flat line basically out to infinity. So wherever you are on that, your goal is to get towards the curve where it starts to shoot up. Because if you can start to shoot up, you're, you're better positioned. First of all, you're closer to the curve, right? You're not way out there where the person that had like a song or whatever, or uh, maybe 20 songs, but they didn't go anywhere. You're closer here. Here's why I think, and I'm just gonna push this on you, why I think it's more important for you to put out more music and not wait for the hit. And that's really what I mean when I say better to have three average songs than one hit. I don't mean it in the way you're thinking. If you can have a hit, that's awesome, that's great. But what happens is most artists, and probably you, you're sitting there thinking, I don't wanna put anything else out until I believe it is a hit. So you pause, so you hold back. You're like, I've been working on seven songs and I'm gonna release a single. Look, if that's a part of a strategy that's consistent and it's moving you along and it's moving you towards your goal of actually having multiple hits, then great. But I've been doing this for a very long time. In the profession, multiple decades, um, I work pretty much with every major label um, and publisher. Just, just this, is, this is the space that my head is in and these are the conversations I'm having. And what I find time and time again is it independent artists like you are most likely afraid to just be putting stuff out there that's not good, right? And so what they do is, I've worked on a few songs, you know what, this is the only one that's really good, this is the best one, that's the one I'm gonna release. My argument here is that it's smarter for you to build a body of work to put out more songs because you're, you'll get in front of more ears, you get in front of more eyeballs. If I, if I wait, let's say I take a year, and I work on 20, 30 different songs, and I'm just looking for that one hit. It's got the hook, it's got the vibe, it's got everything, right? I release that. It goes out. I release it, I'm on the DSPs, it blows up. Then what? There's no momentum, like there's nothing for my fans to dig back into, because I have nothing else. Now imagine I had that hit, but I also had five other songs that were just already out there. Maybe they weren't the greatest, but they were out there. Those fans now have a place to go. So my argument here is that sometimes I think as independent artists, we just get in this mindset of, we should only be putting out the best. We should only be putting out like our hits. And I just fundamentally disagree. You're an artist. I think you should be putting out your art. 
And what happens is when we have a hit, we have a body of work for our fans to dig into. If I find one song from one artist that I really like, chances are I'm gonna dig into them. You're probably the same, but so are your fans. If they stumble on one song of you, they're gonna dig for more songs of you. And if they can't find any, because all you do is wait for the one hit, they have no body of work. So think about how we are as consumers of music today. Like step out of your, you know, take off your hat as an artist, put on your hat as a consumer. We consume music. It's very rare that this generation, our society, listens to the same music over and over beyond a week, a month, maybe three to six months. I mean, historically, it used to be a song might have a shelf life. I mean, when I was growing up, shelf life could be like 10 years. I mean, think about like the Beatles or the Rolling Stones or Aerosmith or whatever. Some of these bands that are like from the 70s, 60s, like you can go back, like they're still like listened to. But by and large, unless you're going for like a low key, like 80s vibe or whatever, like you're not really digging into like the 80s or 90s unless that's your generation, right? Today, people consume music as fast as it comes out. But when they find something they like, generally they're consuming, but they're looking for more of that, of that artist. And if you don't have it to give to them, they're moving on. They've got way too many other options. So I'm gonna circle back to my argument is, put your art out there. Don't wait for the hit. Get more songs out there. Build a base of content that your fans can now dig into when they discover you. Because if you have one hit and you're that one hit wonder, you, chances are you aren't up here at like the Ed Sheeran, Drake, Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande, you know, Adele, whatever, whoever you want to put in this, you're probably not up here. And so because of that, you're trying to get up here and you can't do that with one song. It's, it's very rare unless that one song goes so viral, so over the top viral. And yeah, you're probably sitting there, well, I could give you examples, you know, like of all these different people. What about Madison Beer? What about, you know, whoever? Look, there's always gonna be examples, but that's one for every 100,000 where that example doesn't exist because they don't have a body work. So here's what I want you to do. Whatever you're working on, start putting it out. Start getting your music out there. Build a body of work, have a place for your fans to live and spend some time instead of just one song trying to be a one hit wonder and only hits. Hit makers don't exist. There are no such thing, even at the top level, you, if you look at those top level, every single one of them have put out songs that, eh, they'll still get good numbers because they already have the momentum. But as compared to their true hits, they're nowhere near the, the status of their true hits, even the top level people. So how much more difficult is it for all the rest of the independent community where they're like, I put out a song, you know, I got 500 streams or I got 50,000 streams. 50,000 is something you can leverage if you have more music, but if you don't, 50,000 fizzles into, they've moved on. And now what? Six months, a year later, you give them another single and maybe get 50,000 again. There's still not enough to dig into. So give your fans something to dig into. There you go, go after it.